What's up guys, it's King Dub the 7th and right now we're going to be talking about the Destiny Open Beta which is set to be released July 18th as you just saw in a video if you were paying attention. So the Destiny Open Beta is going to be released on July 18th, right? The thing about that though is we're going to be very limited on content that we can explore. From what I've seen that we're actually going to be looking at in this article written by a pretty cool guy, you know. The guy is he's really talented at writing. So, from what I've seen, we're going to be able to play the first story mission. We're going to be able to play a strike with uh, up to three other players. And we're going to be able to play Destiny PvP uh, game modes, such as Control and Countdown. Now, Control is supposed to be different than it was on Destiny 1. I have not actually been able to see any Control gameplay, but Countdown gameplay I've seen, and it's pretty much like if you've ever played CSGO, it's like def uh, the Diffusing Bomb game mode on that. Where, if you're the defending team, you have to de uh, you have to defend two bomb sites, and if you're the attacking team, you have to plant the bomb on either or a bomb site. But the difference is, is that... On Destiny, you can revive your teammates after you die, but there's a catch. You can only, uh, your team only has four revives. Now, also, we're going to be able to uh, play with the new, with the new uh, subclasses. Now, if I can find them on here, it should be right here. Right. So, we'll be able to play with the new subclasses. We'll be able to play with Dawnblade for the Warlocks, Archstrider for the Hunters, and Sentinel for the uh, for the Titans. Or as I put it here, the guy, or not me, the guy who wrote this awesome article put it here. The guys who shoulder charge people. Now, Dawnblade, of course, is the... Uh, the fire style blade for the Warlocks. Archstrider is the... Electric Javelin players or the Electric Javelin type for the Hunters. I'm assuming that's going to be pretty much like the uh, Arc Blades, Blade Dancers. Hopefully not as strong. And Sentinels, the Titans with the Shields. So, as I said before, if you've already pre-ordered the game, you'll be able to get it July 18th on PS4, July 19th on Xbox One, but for PC users, we're going to have to wait until August 19th. Luckily, or doesn't even have a date for August, we'll just have to wait until August. Luckily, I pre-ordered on PS4 and PC, so I'll be able to play it July 19th as well as whenever it comes out on PC. And I'm very excited but at the same time kind of disappointed because it seems like we're not going to be able to do as much as we did on the destiny one beta on the destiny one beta we were able to play a good amount of story maps i we could play a strike because we got a chance to play the sepik strike and also we were able to travel around old russia it doesn't seem like we'll be able to travel around any of the uh open world maps and the destiny 2 beta but nonetheless, I'm still very excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I will be linking this article if you guys want to read it. It's King Dub the Seventh signing off. Peace. Like and subscribe.